Is having more than one brokerage really all that necessary? And I say yes. I'll tell you the two that I currently use right now and why, coming up. All right, guys, so there's two different brokerages that I use when I'm trading over the counter stocks, and that is TD Ameritrade slash Thinkorswim and Charles Schwab. Now, there's several reasons why I use both of these. The main reason is that I love TD Ameritrade and the type of tools that they provide. So that's probably that is my mostly used brokerage. I use TD Ameritrade all the time. I think they make really quick trades whenever you're trying to get filled in on something. I think they have great tools and products when it comes to the Thinkorswim program. I think that TD Ameritrade really has it all together, except there's one major problem that I have with TD Ameritrade, and that is the DTC chill limitation that they have on TD Ameritrade. There's certain OTC stocks that, and it's rare, but it's still it still happens enough to the point to where I think that it's necessary to have a, a brokerage that provides you know you, you the ability to buy these limit these limited stocks. And I don't use Charles Schwab all the time. I actually only use it specifically to trade these types of stocks. Now, you can get away with using TD Ameritrade. These DTC chill type stocks don't come around that all that often. It's actually quite rare that I would even play something like that. But there are instances where it actually ends up paying off. Case in point most recently is INKW. I know that I've talked to you guys a lot about INKW. I'm currently up well over 100% on it. And I wouldn't have been able to buy it if I was only using TD Ameritrade. This is a common question that I get all the time. And I thought that this would be a good uh, time to address it because INKW is such a nice win right now and it still uh, has a lot more to go in my opinion. And uh, you would have missed out on this opportunity if you only solely use TD Ameritrade. Now, again, like I said, TD Ameritrade has so much to offer. And uh, you know, the other thing is, is that TD Ameritrade's commissions are a little bit higher. My thought process on that is that you get what you pay for and you can always talk them down, especially if you trade a lot through TD Ameritrade. You can talk them down the price match, uh, the commission uh, prices with that of Charles Schwab or E-Trade, any of those. But, uh, you know, that's the main reason why I have two different uh, brokerages. Now, lots of people can have reasons for having uh, different ones, but that's my main one. And I was going to, uh, you know, stick with E-Trade, but honestly, the, the customer service is really what sold me on Charles Schwab. They, they have been great and fantastic. Anytime I want to wire funds over there, it's just a seamless process. They are they're just a great company to work with. And it, it, it parallels with that of, of TD Ameritrade. I love TD Ameritrade because of their customer service as well. And just talking to them on the phone, it's just, it's a great, service to have with both of those uh you know e-trade obviously has a lot of also a lot of powerful tools as well but i chose charles schwab just specifically and almost solely based on the fact that a they offer the dtc chill uh you know stocks that i can purchase and that that impeccable customer service is really what sold me on those so um there you have it just a quick little snippet as to why I use two different brokerages. I hope this helps you kind of understand the importance of that and that, you know, it's not the end all be all, but if you're looking to get into type into to certain stocks that, that have this type of limitation on it, that TD Ameritrade won't allow you buy, then I think it's, you know, essential to have uh, that, that second brokerage that allows you to trade those types of stocks. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you aren't a part of my free community, it's called wetradehq.com. Check the links down in the description below. And if you're interested in stepping up your trading game and your career and avoiding some of those beginner mistakes, I highly encourage you to check out my comprehensive course along with a daily mentorship. All the links are down there in the description for you to check out as well. And that is all I've got for you guys today. I will see you all before the bell and B Smith is out. Uh, most recently,